Yeah. yeah. So I haven't talked to him since. Yeah, probably in his Lamborghini. 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 Welcome to episode 22. And we have a celebrity guest appearance, believe it or not. Very small individual, much smaller than I thought he would be. You guys will have to let me know what you think about that. I'm joined today with SpongeBob. I can hear you, you can't hear me. You guys are in like a Discord or something? OnlyFans. Dot, dot com. Hippie with the booty. Oh, shit, whoa, 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 hey now. You got a hippie in the lobby, bro. You, you can't be using animals and shit. But all he did was just like, go wee. That's Weird. Fun. He was like 30. It's like, what's going uh -oh. on here, man? Like maybe he owned yeah. Bitcoin or something and he can't even speak because he's like having a heart attack. You know, maybe he's like <laughs> rich. You have any Bitcoin? Any Bitcoin? Not invest in that. I probably should have. And it's like, now he's in Asia. He's got a Lamborghini. And it's like, kind of feels like I'm in a movie because I know him. You have anyone like that, man? You've heard about? Um, there's a kid doing a lot of stuff in California that I went to school with. I don't know if it's Forex or something, but he's made a bunch of money. Like, it's like our investment platforms have actually finally adopted the technological hype curve. Yeah, this kid uh, bought his own an Audi A7. He's like dumb as rocks, though. I don't get it. And that's the thing. You can pedal as hard as you want. I get a great workout. You know, I'm yeah. out doing 10, 15, 20 miles, so. Hey, when you were checking out on their website, did you notice like Bitcoin or cryptocurrency as an uh, option to pay? Did not notice that. Have you noticed any of that coming up um, in no, life, really. Tom? No? no? I mean, I know it's out there and I've got some friends that have purchased it and stuff, but I, I haven't really gotten involved in it. Okay. And then yeah. when's the first time you heard of Bitcoin? Oh gosh, it's been several years ago, a few years ago. Really? Three to three, four years ago, I'm thinking. To what capacity did you hear like, hey, Tom, you should buy some of this? Or was it more of a nefarious, hey, this is a pyramid item? Yeah. I just, just heard about it in general, I would say. Awesome. You know? but, yeah. No, I'm just curious because it's it's a current event. Uh, crypto. Oh, yeah. It's going it's going crazy. So Yeah. Have but you yeah. heard, like, you know, those friends that bought, did they make uh, it big? One did. One did. He, he did quite well on it. I know he was going to buy more, then I heard it explode again. Yeah. So I haven't talked to him since. Is, yeah, but, probably uh, in his Lamborghini. I, I, I retired, so I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> hey, what did you retire from, Tom? Uh, construction industry. Awesome. Were you on the buying side, selling side? Uh, uh, construction superintendent. Fac oh, facilitations. Yeah. To, to yeah. a degree. Well, hey Tom, can we get a yep. can we get a handshake here when Absolutely, I hand my mic man. back over? I much appreciate your time today, sir. Yeah. And this is when you like, comment, subscribe. We've actually got a dog that needs to dry off. Here she goes. Blue is in the middle of the living room. She's thinking she doesn't know where to go. Now into the kitchen. And we're waiting to get back to the rest of this video. This is where we like to ask you guys to like, comment subscribe. Blue, do you have anything to say about that? <laughs> I guess not, folks. Have you guys ever just been for a walk somewhere and out of nowhere smell like cheeseburgers with like the heaviest amount of Dijon mustard in the world? Well, I'm here in an area where we've yet to come across that actual barbecue. So I'm left to believe that we've got some deers, raccoons. But for now, until we find that first morning interview, whoa, look at the wingspan on that thing. Nice. Beautiful wheat paste, guys. This is actually beautiful artwork. When it comes to wheat paste, you're really gonna want flour, sugar, you're gonna boil water. Cooling off, you can throw some wood glue into the mix, but this is beautiful artwork. I was thinking this was like a local guy that did it, but it might've been like an installation by, by the school or something, but uh, yeah, this is like wheat paste. You know, you use like uh, flour and water and then you just like take little pieces of paper and put it on the thing. Hey, I film a documentary, actually. Could I ask you a few questions? It's, well, it's mostly about me being able to ask you a few questions and, and show how cool that humans can still interact. Okay, sounds good to me. First, what's your dog's name? This is Kaiser. Kaiser, wow. Hey, Mr. Steal Your Girl. Mr. Steal Your Girl. Correct. Holy. <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. And what's your name? I'm Maria. Maria. Hey, Maria, what do you think about Bitcoin? So I don't know a lot about it. Um, I am researching it actually because my. Um, can you? Can we? Uh, totally forgot that I have this new microphone solution that makes my post editing like 50 million times easier, Maria. Like I do not have to get a headache and drink a cup of coffee at nine at night. You know? <laughs> if you, could, we're just gonna restart, right? She's good, I promise. Okay. You're 
a good girl. Yeah, she's going crazy. Come here. I know you want to play, don't here, you? Here, you know how to use a microphone? I sure do. Very good. Okay, so we're joined with Maria. I forgot that we have this beautiful microphone solution. I'm a nurse. That's what I do. I assess things. <laughs> My goodness. Well, that's intriguing because I just assess uh, levels of conversation to a degree, right? I come from sales. Oh, me too. I have a sales background as well. Really? No surprise. Stay. Yeah, so what did you? What were you saying about Bitcoin, Maria? Oh, um, so my husband likes to invest, um, and so this is something that we are actually just educating ourselves about for the moment. Okay, and then how long do you think you've been doing that education? I mean, not long. I mean, I think it's passively. We've known about it for a little while, um, okay. but then maybe just in the past few weeks, um, I have a friend at work that's actually um, learning how to invest also in cryptocurrency. That's it. Awesome, and then when you say a while, just, just for clarity, Two years, three years, did you hear about in 2017 when it spiked to like 2,000 a coin? Uh, probably about a year. A year. Okay, so when it did its thing back in 2020. You're right, that's when I think when the economy kind of, uh, you know, took that hit from uh, COVID, I think that's when people started looking at investing because it was opportune, right? So. Very good. Yeah, and then you said your husband's involved in investing. Is that more on just his personal front or is it a... Personal. Really? So, but it, it did sound like a little bit of a business, so he takes it very serious. Yes, to some degree. So if I could ask you a question, if I could um, do of that. Of course. Um, what is your intent in questioning about the Bitcoin? Why did you I'm, choose that as a topic? I'm educating the world about what society thinks about it. Okay. We have the media that peddles one side or the other of the agenda. It's, the, it's a That's scam really true. or it's the best thing ever, right. where as Americans, we know that nothing's ever that way, that you can go to the same restaurant a hundred times and one of the times it's going to be a crappy experience, one of the times it's going to be the best experience your life but then the other 98 times it's just going to be uh, a restaurant right that's right so i don't like the fact that we have a media that peddles one side or the other of cryptocurrency when in reality you have a very beautiful technology that's really going to help humanity and if america does not catch up we're going to lose an entire century to china and russia that's actually adopting this full-fledged I think that's I think it's great because I think you're spot on when you know the more somebody or some entity says that they are not biased it's probably that they're very biased yeah right? yeah and that's where I was starting to uh, malnourish myself as I was becoming biased mm -hmm. to the pro side of the coin mm -hmm. where I wanted to see how society's actually adopting how they're actually looking at it okay. and get a good idea as to where we are in the hype cycle okay do you think where do you think we are in terms of adoption of Bitcoin Ooh. Um, from the very few people that I've talked to about it, um, I would say that people are um, hesitant about it. So I'm not sure if we're quite on the hype side of it, at least in my circle. But you know, you tend to surround yourself with people that are similar to you and similar in values and like-mindedness. So yeah. um, it's really hard to say because I may just have a microcosm, you know. Of course, yeah. And then that network item is you, you definitely just become like an average of your entire network, right? Exactly. Do you tend to take a lot of influence, you would say, from, from the network or do you you and your uh... no I think I'm pretty I think I'm pretty balanced um, I think I'm aware that there's a lot of biased information out there and so as a result of that like you intentionally try to find non-biased information of course put on Instagram a photo of uh -huh. a Lamborghini and he said that he got it because of like Bitcoin or something he got it from what Bitcoin <laughs> Bitcoin. what is that Bitcoin. you know anything about you Bitcoin? Don't, you don't know what Bitcoin huh? Do you know what Bitcoin is? It's an online currency. Oh. If they've been invested long enough. Oh. I thought it was like a coin. Like, uh, you know, it has coin in the name. It's Bitcoin, but it, it's literally just internet coin. People on the uh, uh, top real quick, one second. Millionaire, millionaire. 70 on them? Oh. On you or what? Oh, no, 126 knocked up top. Let's go, baby. Oh. I'm going up top. Headshot. Come on, I told you to peek me, dude. Oh, oh, oh. no, I'm going the wrong way. That was episode 22 of What the Bitcoin. However, we've got a copious amount of content on our channel. We've also got a subscribe button down below if you've not clicked that. If it's still red and that bell's like unrung, ring that bell, dude. You ever rung a bell before? Oh, good. Until next time, guys, you guys stay safe and you stay tuned.